Welcome race fans to the I-70 Speedway. I am your host Stephen Munger and today is the shootout. It's going to start season one of the S. Munger Cup Series here on the S. Munger channel and I can't wait for what the rest of the season has to bring to you guys. I think this is going to be a lot of fun and we've had a lot of fun this weekend so far. We got nine drivers on the pit road getting ready to perform the pace lap. And in yesterday's final practice, if you didn't see, Tyler Rogers gets clipped by Cooper Glick and goes flipping down the back straightaway and into turn number three. Rolls two and a half times, coming to rest on his roof. Uh, Tyler Rogers was okay. He climbed right out of the car, and he will be starting today's race from the eighth position. As you see the cars come off the road and starting line up, you have to see Wonder on the pole team was outside. Was our row two on the inside that's guy that's outside? Row three of Jake Winkleson, Cooper Quick. Row four is Dave Wilson and Tyler Rogers. And in row five, you have Jack Riley from the 44. Here they are coming off turn number four. They're going to get the green flag. The green flag is waving here at the I 70 Speedway to start the shootout. They're beating and banging all the way around. Who's going to lead the first lap of the series? And it's going to go to Munger by a nose. But there you see Tammy to the outside. Lazard to the inside. They're three wide in turn number two. Coming off turn number two. Lazard has the lead. Man moves that in second. Here comes Cooper Glick trying to take the third position away from our pole sitter. Who keeps rolling backwards. Now on board we are with Jaden Winkleson. Who's currently running in the fourth position. Starting six, he's already on the move. He's having a good run so far. Coming off turn number two. They're getting single file now. Getting into turn number three. You, know, you got Tanner Mann working to make the move on Bazaar. Going up high. Cooper Quick to the bottom. He's going to take that second position from Tanner Mann. And as they get down the front straightaway to start lap four. Here comes Jaden Winkleson up the middle. He's not going to necessarily make it work, but he'll at least take the spot from Tanner Mann. It is Lazard, Glick, Winkleson, Mann, your top four. As they come off turn number four, you're going to pick up a lap five. Lazard is still your leader. Cooper Glick has been diving into the bottom, trying to get a big run on him the last couple of laps. And he just hasn't been able to make it stick. He's making the car stick down there, but it's not the move itself. He's going to try it again and get down here to turn number three. Jaden Winkleson to the rear bumper. And here comes Glick to the inside. He's got a run on him. He's got a run on him getting down to turn number one. Glick to the lead. Can he make a stick? And oh, he pulls off the slide job. He makes the block work. Cooper Glick to the lead on lap six down the back straightaway. Jaden Winkleson will take the second position away from Lazard. Tanner Mansfield riding on board here now on board with Lazard. In the lap number seven as they dive back to number one. Jaden Winkleson now on point. And on turn number two is Lazard going to make a run on Glick for that second position. Here is Tanner Mann trying to come back around on the outside in turn number three and four. Oh, he's going to make it stick. He's got a run up there. Beating all over the rear bumper of Cooper Glick as they get back into turn number one. It is three to go, and they're three wide for the second position. And that is exactly what Jaden Winkleson wants to see up front as he's running away with the lead here as he's coming to two laps to go. Turn three, Tanner Mann gets into the wall. Tanner Mann slams the wall hard at turn number three. He keeps the car rolling, though. It's two laps to go. Jaden Winkleson making a move on Jax Riley to put him a lap down, coming down the back straightaway and into turn number three. He is currently clear sailing, nobody in his windshield. And about a half a straightaway on Lazard for, for the lead as the white flag comes out. Glick makes a move on Lazard for second and it looks like it's going to work. Jaden Winkleson coming off turn number two. He's holding on to the lead and he is home free going into turn number three. And if you can round turn number four, it looks like he's going to win here I-70 Speedway. There's a crash up in turn number one. Tanner Mann with a hard hit to the wall. Tanner Mann gets up on his side. Big hit into turn number one. And we're going to cut to a replay of that. It's like on lap eight. That's what initially happened. It looks like he overdrives the corner and gets into the wall. Running, in the, running for third. About a lap and a half later. He is coming on to the last lap. Looks like something in the front breaks, won't steer, and big hot, big shot into the wall. Goes up in the air and almost goes out to visit some of the spectators and those campers out there. 
to take one more look at this big shot he takes going down to turn number one. Keeps going. He will limp it back around. Jaden Winkelson coming down to the start and finish line to grab the checkered flag. He is the winner here at I-70 Speedway in the first ever S-100 Cup Series race. And he's going to burn it down for the fans here at I-70. Jaden Winkelson takes the win. Second place is going to be Cooper Glick, followed by Lazard in third. Steven Munger comes home fourth. And Tyler Rogers, after yesterday's flip, comes home fifth. Dice Guy comes home sixth. Dave Wilson seventh. And a lap down is Jax Riley in eighth. And Tanner Mann limps it back to the pits in the ninth position a lap down. The next race on our schedule is Eldora for the Clash. And instead of a nine car field, it will be all 16 drivers there for this race. And we look forward to seeing you guys there. We don't have a specific race date yet. We will make it public very soon. But I hope to see you guys there when we get there.